Hi guys, SC Dawa, of course, has graced us with another, an extremely silly edition of Dawa trying to spread the Islam virus. This time it's another one of their call in, which they call it call in shows, which is morality without God. And it says Speaker's Corner Live. Well, it's not a Speaker's Corner, and the question is not morality without God. And even though it says that atheists should join them, well, they can't. They pretend they're interested in discussions with non-believers. But when non-believers demonstrate their hypocrisy, their dishonesty and futile line of reasoning, they apply censorship in two ways. First of all, all known accounts of non-believers are blocked. This is like a comment I received from one of them. Next, there is no discussion. This is what they're doing now. But this is just that a non-believer is granted a quick question, after which the panel reacts on this by delivering their usual nonsense in the form of dawa, making unsubstantiated claims, and that's it. That's all we're getting. They, they even had a guy claiming he was a Jew who was spewing his falsehoods in an attempt to show, oh, Islam is so nice and so godly. And in this episode, it was theists, not atheists, who were allowed to call in and ask a question. And when they were praising Islam, they were actually allowed even more interaction with the panel members. Now, they claim they want atheists, and even though I identified myself as atheist, I was chucked out of the backstage area and could not join again. So I'm, I'm just going to listen a little bit on this. I mean, it, it's hilarious, okay? Like one guy says, you can join Islam based on a translation of the Quran. Even though the caller had clearly stated he doesn't understand something and has questions. That's ignorant. Come on, help the guy out. Also, how come you could join without knowing anything? But when you ask questions, critical questions, you need to jump through 28 hoops and all sorts of things to study ancient Arabic for at least 15 years before you are allowed to ask a critical question regarding Islam. Come on, that's pathetic. Yet, they are too scared and are real cowards when it comes to joining us on the Gin and Tonic Show, where we would have more time to discuss details. But then they're not on their territory, so they feel threatened. Instead, they discuss things amongst themselves. No atheists allowed. Come on, what is wrong with these losers? And then, to make matters worse, this ridiculously ignorant Mansour guy joins, and again, they simply enjoy their echo chamber and avoid any outside challenges. And that's why when they manage, and, and I mean, this is like over one hour now, right? They've only got one and a half hours, and, and they manage to just discuss stuff amongst themselves, the usual nonsense. So when they managed, after over one hour, I can't remember, five or ten or something, to get another Muslim on, I left this, this primitive mental masturbation exercise. Come on. Islam apologists, really, they have nothing. There is no intelligent or coherent argument, and especially when it comes to morality, they fail miserably, and they are too scared to even talk about it, and they will continue leading their lives following a highly immoral God and his messenger. Is it going to be better next time? I doubt it. But see you in the next video. Bye.